Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, we're gonna do something fun. I don't normally do makeup challenges, but this challenge I felt like would be lots of fun. So we are going to do, or I am going to do, um, the Dollar Tree makeup challenge. And that is when you buy a whole bunch of makeup products from the, the Dollar Tree and um, you use that to make a full face like tutorial. This is gonna be interesting because um, the color selection at the dollar store was just ridiculous. So I have my bag, see here it says Dollar Tree, full bag of Dollar Tree makeup items. I spent like $25, ciao. I'm just like, why did I spend this much? I'm like, I'm gonna use these again. I haven't opened any of this stuff, by the way. The first thing we are gonna start with, of course, like I usually do, is my foundation. The foundation that they had is by a company called Sassy Chic. And this is the moisturizing foundation in the color Dark One. Now, let me just say, um, if this is the dark, if this is, if this is considered dark, like, really, really? And I know that I'm not like the most, you know, I don't know. But for real, for real, it was the darkest shade that I could find because clearly they just, you know, there is no love for anyone with, you know, a hint of melanin. I have seen the other challenge, the other uh, makeup challenge videos and a lot of people have said they didn't have anything to apply the foundation. So by the same company who doesn't want to have any different colors of foundation, <laughs> I found a blender sponge and I got the blue one. So I am going to use that to apply this very, very pale foundation. This is very stiff. This is not soft at all. Now, off the bat, not like this is a review or anything, because it's not like we really need that. But you know how most makeup sponges, you know, they get a little bigger when you get them wet? Yeah, no. This stays the same size. Now I'm gonna apply this dreadful foundation onto my face. I'm just gonna shake it up because I just have a feeling sitting there for a very long time. Holy cow. Do you see that? That is thick. All right, let us pray. This is rough. This is the darkest that they have. This is a joke. And I feel like I'm beating up, like, you know how people say, girl, let me beat your face. I'm really like beating up my face with this hard sponge. Do you see this? Like seriously, this is a joke. This is a joke. Sorry, just, you know, we're just gonna have to make this work. I can't believe that this is the darkest color that they have. Mm. Like, really? Do you hear that? Like, I'm literally like beating my face. Oh my gosh. I think I'm just smelling sponge. This is what I get for taking on a challenge. This look like sunscreen gone wrong. God. I look stupid. Usually at this point, I would apply the concealer. And I did find a concealer. Some people have not found a concealer. This is by LA Colors and this is in the color in beige. Oh God, I'm not excited about this either. Look at my face, like really? Can it get any worse? Let me tell you, this foundation stinks. It's either the, the foundation or it's that sponge that I just beat all over my face. So anyhow, I'm gonna put this under my eyes. This is not thick. And let me just say really quick, um, I could not find a powder. Because again, like, the color selections were ridiculous. Really? I'm fairly light and I couldn't even find anything to fit my skin collection. 
So the rest of my brown sisters, y'all can just forget it. Like, it's just not gonna happen. And I feel like my face itches. All right, so we're gonna use the uh, other end of this thing, and I know I'm gonna regret this, because again, and we're gonna blend this out, even though you can't even see it. Blend this under my eyes, and again, you can't even see it. I still look a hot mess. This is sad, like, <laughs> I just beat all the concealer away. Where did it go? Like when I say it's watery, it's like extremely watery. I wonder if I can like just put on like a lot. Maybe I'll just use my fingers this time. Because clearly the sponge just took all the product away. I gotta leave something, right? You gotta see something. My face is itching. I mean, that's a little better. At least you can see it, right? I still have eyeballs after the, all this. I have sensitive skin, so I really <laughs> sh probably shouldn't be doing this because, yeah. So basically, my finger blends this out. Oh, oh my god, look at that. Ugh. Basically, my finger blends this out a little better, but not really because look at this. I still look stupid. <laughs> It's just, it's coming out patchy. Do you see this? Yo. Yeah. Do you see that? I look stupid. And again, there is no powder. Like none. There was no powder in my skin tone. So I'm going to cheat one time. No, I'm gonna cheat twice. And this is why. One, because I feel like when you set your makeup with powder, it looks so much better. Not that we can really get any just want to take the shine away but too because you know I have sensitive skin and I ain't trying to jack it up completely so I'm gonna use my, my powder which is by covergirl look at this we just matting it out because I, I can't even deal with this everybody else got a foundation in their color and I can't even get one so I'm cheating I'm using my powder and what you gonna do about it nothing shoot y'all get powder anyhow so next, at this point, I would do my eyebrows. So I bought these, this brow and eyeliner pencil, and it's by the company Color Mates. And that's what that looks like. And it's in the colors black and brown. Give me something. Yo, this is hard to be light-handed because this is actually semi-like pigmented. This is like the most stressful video I've ever done. And I had high hopes. I was like, I can do it. I can do it. And then I saw the color selections and I was just like, bro, that's not entirely too bad. Like, we can work with this. We can work with it. So now that my eyebrows are abundantly ratchet, we are going to move on to the next thing. Again, I'm not even going to try to sculpt them out. We are going to bronze now. It's by LA Colors and it's in the color Baked. So this is what this looks like. I will say for the win were the brushes that I got by Wet n Wild at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. This is how many brushes that I got. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got seven brushes from the dollar store. Wet n Wild. For the win. So I'm going to use this contour brush by Wet n Wild. Ooh, they're cruelty free. Okay, that's not bad. It could be worse. Like, it could really be worse. And around the perimeter of my head. Like that. Ooh, it's shedding. Ooh, it's, ooh, it's shedding a lot. Oh my gosh. Oh, you are not a friend. Do you see this? Do you see that? Yo, it's just... Wah. Oh my god! We're gonna go like this. Like that. Moving on to eyes. Most people did not find a primer. So at my Dollar Tree, I found by e.l.f. This is a smudge pop, and this is in the color Ain't That Sweet. 
I use this as my um, my primer. I'm going to use this concealer brush, large concealer brush by Wet n Wild. Again, this was a steal. And this is basically going to be my primer. Oh, this is pretty. See, it's really great. See, so you think you're really pretty. I'm telling you, I'm really trying to make this work. Okay, so for the actual eyeshadow, I got a palette by LA Colors. This is their 12 color eyeshadow in the name Trendy. I picked up two different ones. This is another one by LA Colors. This is their matte eyes eyeshadow. I think I'm actually going to use this one. And I'm not going to use these stupid sponge applicators. These things, no. I'm going to use a small eyeshadow brush. I'm going to use this light pink first. Let us pray. Like this. Oh my gosh, this is horrid. Why am I doing this to myself? I'm going to use the color next to it. An attempt, attempt to blend this. Why does this show up better? This, this color shows up a lot better. So now I'm going to take the blue and put that on the outer corner, because why not? This is very pigment pigmented. And we're gonna like swoop that into the crease, because again, why not, you know, just go big or go home. Now I just feel like I wasted my money. And swoop. Of course, we, we'll, we'll blend this out in a minute. This looks like when you first get into makeup, and yeah. Usually with these, with you know, two different colors, I just kind of go back and forth between the two to make them blend. <sighs> Whatever, I tried to make it even. Whatever. I'm going to use this large eyeshadow brush by Wet n Wild and I'm going to try to blend this monstrosity on my eyelids out. Go around the edges like this. And I am just going to go back into this purple color and, you know, try to make it pop just a little. Let's just try to keep it alive. All right, now that that's out of the way, now I'm gonna go into the smoky liner brush and I'm gonna place these colors under my eyes. Oh God, this is really bad. Uh, now I'm gonna go back with that purple-ish color. Now I'm gonna go into the other palette that I had because I need, I guess, a highlight color. We're just gonna take this light color here and something tells me I'm going to regret this. Sweep that across the top. Okay, that's not entirely too bad, it could be worse. Highlight is on. Now for eyeliner. I'm going to use the LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner. Now that we spent five million years on the eyeliner, I can say that the eyes are done. I got the deadly colors. Get the look, eyes mascara. The picture on this package makes it look like this mascara really thinks it's gonna do something. We shall see. All right, supply the mascara. Oh no. Oh, 
too. Really? Really? Now, I wanted to find a highlighter, but could not. So I'm gonna use this loose eyeshadow by LA Colors, and this is in the color Sunshine. So I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for the highlighter, and um, yeah, oh God. Cheekbones. That's not bad. That's not, that's not entirely bad. Cheekbones. Tip of my nose. Wait, I didn't get it. I'm gonna just do it down the bridge of my nose. And Kubla's bow. And I just look like somebody threw glitter on me. Whatever. Now we need a blush. Did I not pick up a blush? I thought I picked up the blush. <gasps> I didn't pick up the blush. Well, this is going to be a blushless look. Um, what else do I have left? Lips. I picked two different kinds. One by LA Color and then one by Color Mates. Let's just do the one with the gloss on it. This is by LA Color. This is the Lip Gloss Lipstick Duo. And this is in the color Sensual. It smells like bubble gum. Ow. 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 This is like the hardest lipstick I've ever had. Mm. Oh god, you gotta like really work it. Bruh, this shouldn't take 10 minutes. Okay. So now I'm gonna take the other side. Now I'm really scared to use the gloss. I have this much, this, I can't even talk. Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. Ugh. Okay, I quit with this. I can't. I'm gonna use the other color. The other color is in the color dark, dark pink frost. Maybe this will work out. This comes with a clear lip liner. I wonder if that just keeps it in. I don't know what I'm doing with this. I can't. Okay, one well, is just smoother. And you don't have to work as much. Ooh, it's like spaceship lips. So, the last thing that I need to add are some eyelashes. And these are my LA Colors Dramatic Lash. And this is in the style Diva. The style actually doesn't look that bad, but this is another area where I'm cheating. I am not going to just use any type of lash glue on my eyelids, honey, because we is not trying to be blind. So this is what it looks like with the eyelashes on. And to be honest, it's actually not that bad. They actually look good, but again, I use my own personal uh, eyelash glue because nobody has time to lose an eye. And I have one more thing. I'm going to line my bottom lash with the LA Colors Auto Eyeliner Eyeliner. This looks like it would be pretty good. Or not. That's a fail. It's, it didn't even do anything. You have to like really work it. I'm done. I can't, I can't even deal with this anymore. So. This is the look that I created with all items from the Dollar Tree. That is all. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching this as much as I did filming it. That is all that I have for you guys today. So until the next video, I will see you guys later. Bye. Oh wait, I forgot to say, if you enjoyed this video, thumb it up. I need to see some some thumbs and I, again if you are not subscribed press the subscribe button so you can join the party yeah that's it I promise I will see you guys in my next video bye